It's episode three, and there's something terribly wrong with these villagers. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Welcome back, everybody. Starting out this episode down here underground, digging away, getting us some obsidian. Well, you know why we need obsidian. We need to build a nether portal. You know, I said we weren't going to go into the nether till 116 dropped, but then I realized we need to cure some villagers. And so that's why we're down here, digging away, getting ourselves some good old obsidian, and then we can build a portal and get some blaze powder, because we're going to need some blaze powder in order to cure those villagers. Fortunately, up in the church, there is already a brewing stand, so we won't need to build one of those, although that would be easy once we get a hold of some blaze rods. So let's head up here. Let's find a good spot to build our portal. I think, I think right in here would be ideal. How about right, right here? Okay, so we need to dig out a place. They need to be three high and two wide. And then one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and I don't have a flint and steel. So let's run up and get that, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with a flint and steel, and we're going to take our first steps into the nether. Here we go. Absolutely no idea what we're going to find there. Now, I did make up some diamond, a little bit of, used uh, those few diamonds we got to make up some tools, and hopefully that's going to help us as we cross over here to the other side. Where are we? Okay, welcome to the nether. What we need now is a fortress. We're down low, that's good. But let's see where this takes us. Looks like we got some open area here. sign of a fortress. Let me look around and I'll be right back. So I had to bring you in for this. I just broke through into this into this nether fortress. Ah. There we go. Give me a blaze rod. There we go. Just broke through into this nether fortress. Came around a corner. Put up this little blocker and look. Look very first Weather skeleton I killed. How often does that happen? Well, we want blaze. We, that's all we need right now. We'll, we're going to reset the nether here eventually. I'm just looking for... Looking for... Oh! Blaze blocker. Okay, we are back through. We are back through in the overworld. We've got all the blaze rods we need. So I was thinking I was going to pick up a little bit of coal here 
and then we will head up and drop off our goodies and get going on curing some of those villagers there in the uh, <laughs> a lot of zombies around here whoa whoa what, what's going on what's, what's, did, did, what, what was that need to get up top see what's going on make sure everything's okay okay it's daylight that's good what what, what what's going on that, that tremor must have must have opened things up Around. It's it's charred. What are these? Looks like blood or, or, or something. Well, I hope the villagers are okay. Yeah, he looks he looks fine. But oh, but the what is this? Are they are they okay? Oh my goodness. Oh my go- they, This is not good. Th this- This is not a good village breeder. This is seriously not a, a, a good- A good village breeder. We- We need to clean this- We need to clean this up. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see, maybe I can- Okay, okay, it breaks up. Maybe I can just clean some of this virus up here. Oh. Got that. <coughs> Uh, smokes a, smokes a little bit much. <coughs> uh, it's something, something broke through, and it's, it's hurting the villagers. It's, it's caused them all to be. <coughs> <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, I'm, not, oh, guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling so good. I think. I think before I can cure these guys, I need to, I need to get better. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna head <coughs> under here, and and <coughs> quarantine, quarantine my, my, my myself, myself a little bit with these guys. guys. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back. Well, hey there. Glad you're still here. Uh, I'm, uh, let me tell you, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. And uh, I want to show you what I did. I have spent my quarantine time very, very well, I think. So if we go back down the hole here, you'll see we've still got all of our sick villagers in here. Even some new babies have come in and become infected with the virus. But they're... Hold on, let's, uh, let's turn their, uh, their sounds off just a little bit. Awfully loud down here. Okay, so they are, uh, they're still infected, but they're, they're safe, they're, they're quarantined in there. So what I've done while I've been in quarantine is I've set up a makeshift hospital here. I've already brought one of the little babies in, and we're going to cure him. Uh, we are going to cure him. We've got some uh, bottles in here, and what I've done, this is how you cure villagers. You take a fermented spider eye... And you put this right into water bottles. You don't need nether wart or anything like that. Now, fermented spider eye is made out of three things. Spider eye, that makes sense. Brown mushroom, we just collected a bunch of those in the, uh, in the nether. And sugar, and sugar comes from sugar cane. And if you remember here, we've got sugar cane farm right over there. So, we are all set. What we need to do here is make up some blaze powder. So here we go. Just do a couple. Keep the blaze rods for later. We'll put some blaze powder in here. And look at that. It's going to cook it up nice. And then what we need to do is we need some gunpowder. Because we're going to turn this potion here. This is going to brew up a potion of weakness. That'll be ready in just a second. And we're going to use it on this little guy here. And we're going to make him, cure him, get him all better. Okay, there it is. 
So we're going to go in here, we're going to add some gunpowder. That's going to turn this potion of weakness into a splash potion of weakness. And then there's one other thing we need, and that is a golden apple. So, there he is. Can't feed him this yet, just waiting for this to brew. And all done. Splash potion of weakness, got three of those. Very good. Got a golden apple, so what we're going to do is come around here. We're going to throw that in at him, and then begin the curing process. Now that takes, this can take up to five minutes for him to heal. Notice I've got him blocked in there. It's very important that you block them in. They can go diagonally through blocks when they heal, but he is in a minecart. Uh, he'll be out of the minecart here in just a second. Now let me show you what else I did here, because once these guys are all cured, they're still noisy, aren't they? We're going to turn down the sounds even more. Once these guys are cured, the new ones are going to need to be vaccinated. We don't want this virus coming up out of the ground again and, uh, and hurting them. So we want to be able to vaccinate our villagers right off the bat. And so that's why I've created this. And if you look over here, uh, we had another zombie wander in here. He was willing to pick up objects. So I gave him some armor. I gave him a sword. Okay, let me be honest. I gave him a sword. He killed me and took all my armor. But that's okay. That's okay. I have new armor now. But he is all set up. When we get any new villagers, we can bring them right in here just by flipping this switch. And they'll go in there, and he is going to change them into a zombie villager. Then all we do is click that, hit this button, and they will be pulled right out and down into a holding tank where we can cure them. So let me get a few of these guys cured up, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I've been trading with these guys for a little bit, and I brought you back in here to show you what we've got. Now, we can take all these half slabs off because these guys are all grown up. They're all traded with. We're not going to be messing with them anymore, but let's see what we've got for a start. Here is a librarian, and here's the big one right here. We've got an unbreaking three book, one emerald. Yep, it's just that easy. And we've got this guy right here. Look, fortune three, one emerald. And now these guys... These guys are about to be game changers for us. We've got an armorer right here, and I want you to see one emerald each, an entire set of diamond armor. Now, it doesn't matter if these aren't the greatest enchantments. That's okay. We can take them off with a grindstone and apply new enchantments to it, but you just can't get armor cheaper than that. And then here we go. Here's our smithy. Look at that. All of the tools we need. We just need a weapon smith added to this and we'll have the sword as well. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, episode three here on Adventures in Minecrafting. I'm going to keep trading with these guys, develop these guys a little bit, and hopefully when we come back next time, we'll begin building our base. See you in episode four.